How's it going, sisters, mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with Clanad, Visual Novel Goodness, Party 5 Day. You ever read one of those health magazines before in your local superstore? Well, you know what it says in there? Well, I read some Clanad once a day, about 20 minutes, 15 if you're on a budget, and you're going to get like big, strong muscles, and you're going to be gay. Being gay is also healthy. Look it up. Think I'm lying? Think I'm making it up when I am? Plot twist. All right. Previously, we were trying to help Katomi with a, uh, you know, doing her thing, being social and stuff with a sandwich lady and all that crap. And then she was like, "Mate, I don't want to see you every lunch because I'm concerned about your education." I don't know why someone would be like that because you know, Tommy is stuck in a time loop, so it's not gonna make a difference. But um, well, I guess she doesn't know. She's only trying the best for our dear boy, so I don't really blame her. All right. But now we're just gonna casually go into the the next scene, the next happening. Okay, I want you to eat a lot. Yeah, I want to be fat as well. She smiles as relieved when I start eating. Oh, really? I was two lines off. Now you tell me. Well, I'll see you after school. Yeah, but are you going to be there? You disappeared before. It seems about time you disappear again. Something's going to happen with the plot, right? Yeah, see you after school. You see this? You see what it says here? You see what it says down below? Look carefully at those words. Yeah, full stop. See you after. It's not supposed to be like that for you guys, because mirror image. Uh, school, school. <laughs> I know writing or some shit. Remember this. It's gonna come up. She's not gonna be there. Probably not, but we'll see. I watch as Katomi walks off. Okay, bye. Have fun. I better get serious. I'm so full. I feel like I'm gonna pass out this afternoon. <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you eat a bit too much for your belly. After school. Well, we skipped that bit ahead, didn't we? Katomi is already... Oh, wait, she is there. Yeah, but something's going to happen at some point. One day we're never going to see her again. I know you're hinting that because you did it before. Just wait for the day when you do that to me. All right. Katomi is already waiting at our usual meeting place. Yeah, I'm surprised, to be honest. Hello, Tomoyokun. Sorry, were you waiting long? No, I just got here. Who's the friend today? Is it is it Sunahara? You going for the all out, this is gonna happen and you're gonna like it scenario? Let's see, come on, Suna. I mean, you have to find someone that'll work if you want to defy that prophecy. I pretend to think, but I'm all out of acquaintances, except, you know, Sunahara. The only one left is... Sunohara, I guess. Well, it's about fucking time. How was he not the first person you thought of, you fool? You rang? Oh, wow, he was instant there. That was instant. No, never in a million years. Why do you have a girl with you? Hey, this is Katomi Echinose. But seriously, I don't know any other pe normal people. <laughs> well, normal. Emphasis on the normal. Let's, let's underline that. Why are you with someone like that? What, someone educated? Uh, oh, believe it or not, I am an uneducated delinquent. So, you know. Hey, listen to me, Okazaki. <laughs> He's just concerned that I don't care. The only one left is the human waste Sunohara. Is there going to be, um, something bad happening? I kind of suspect that. Okazaki, Tomoya Okazaki-kun. Hey, are you listening? What should I do? I know you're looking at me. You know I'm right here, right? Mm. Please answer me, my best buddy, Tomoya Okazaki-kun. Remember that whole playthrough we had, the Sunohara playthrough, where we talked about how we've been laughing with this idiot forever? And we even, like, stuck up for him and his sister and all that. I mean, I, I suppose we didn't exactly stick up for him, but, um... Really feels like a long time ago that happened, doesn't it? Yep. You're still ignoring me? He looks really sad. Yeah, as demonstrated by the tears. Tears are not e enough. Tear I can't, I can't sing that high, I'm sorry. I'm a Spandu Ballet, uh, ABC kind of guy. Oh, Sunohara, there you are. That's way too late! Besides, I'm not here in the flesh right now. Uh, what? I'm an apparition of, or I'm the apparition of Tomoyo Gazaki, appearing in the dream you're having right now. That's why I'm smarter than you can imagine. Did you get food poisoning or something? By the way, Sinohara, what's the capital of Australia? Australia? That's, uh, you know, Sydney. <laughs> you fool, you fell for my trap card. Fortunately, it's not Sydney, it's Melbourne. Ah, uh, now that you mention it, I guess you're right. 
Think of Mel and Born as two sibling sheep. You know, we do still have Ichi Nosa here, right? As much as she's probably fascinated by this thing about Mel Born the sheep. But, um, you know, she is actually still a human being. I don't want to lose her. You really are different from the usual idiot, Kazaki. Yeah, Katomi's concerned. Katomi's like, well, I want him to change for the better. Does that mean she's part of my dream too? Of course. She's looking at me like I'm some animal that shouldn't exist. Ha! <laughs> Nothing new there! Alright, cool. Just broke my neck to do that. Alright, oh, I haven't fully introduced you. Now, Katomi, show up your new moves. Nod. Trot, trot, trot. Bow. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Katomi Ichinose from Class 3A. My hobby is reading. If it's alright with you, will you please be my friend? Hey, Okazaki. How's this gonna go down? What, Sunahara? If I heard her correctly, the smartest girl in school just asked me... Yeah, you're taking it too far, boy! Looks like it. This is... W w what is this? What is happening? This is a dream, right? Of course this is just a dream. To prove it, you don't get hurt even if you get punched. Pow. It still really hurts. You're dreaming the pain. Back in the real world, you're taking a nap in class. And the teacher's about to catch you and give you hell. Seriously? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, he noticed you're sleeping. That's horrible. How do I wake up? Hit your head against the wall over there. You'll eventually wake up. All right. Bang, bang, smash. Well, looks like the wall's down. Looks like you're going to have to pay for repairs in this school. Let's go, Katomi. But, um... He has a condition. Don't ask too many questions about it. Oh. It must be hard for him. Wake up, Yohei. You have to wake up from your dream. Wake up. Bang, slam. Yep. Still murdering yourself. That's nice. Leaving the occupied Sunohara behind, I walk away with Katomi. Does that count as a friend or not? I thought we said we weren't going to make any friends today. I mean, like... I suppose it wasn't an official yes, but... It, yeah. The interactions existed. I guess we don't have a choice. Let's just call it quits for today. In the end, we don't talk to anyone besides Sunahara. I still think that was relatively productive in its own way. I mean, you basically got your friend to injure himself. That's always... Pleasant of you. I don't have too many acquaintances. Finding people with free time is really difficult. Katomi won't get a chance to use her new introduction either. It's too bad, but let's go home. Okay. We walk together with heavy steps to the shoe lockers. Hey, remember when we were going to help like Furukawa with that drama club? I mean, not that I actually care about her or any uh, like Furukawa. I mean, I like it, you know, say, but Furukawa I don't like. Um, but shouldn't we be maintaining friendships as well as making new ones? This isn't exactly co Komi can't communicate here. I mean, what am I saying? It's exactly the same plot. It's just, you know, these guys came up with it first. Fujibayashi's fortune telling came true. No, it didn't. You had Sunahara. Ah, oh, whatever. I mumble that while remembering what happened yesterday. If it's exactly as Fujibayashi said, it's because of me. Hey, could... Oh, wait, technically, because you're the one not actually letting her socialize with him. The moment I glance at her... Hey, I found you. A familiar voice comes from behind. I turn around to see Kyo running at me. K, hey. Turn. Tap, 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 tap. Hey, why are you running away? Kyo tries to stop her. Is she a bully? Is she a bully? Is she a bully? I don't know. Come here, I won't bully you. That's a good girl. Grind, 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 whatever that means. Kyo hugs the teary-eyed Katomi from behind and rubs her head forcefully. Why have I got a feeling she's only doing this because of Ryo's fortune? She heard it through the grapevine and was just like, Hey, let's defy fate together like Final Fantasy XIII. Katomi goes limp, accepting her cruel fate. She's like a stray cat plucked away while napping at the park. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a cat in this house right now. It's going to be a while since I, still I can do that. The stress will make the fur on her tail fall out, so knock it off. What? She has a tail? I think I want to check it out. Hmm? Fidget, fidget, fidget. That's inappropriate. Oh, I thought you'd be wearing something more childish, but you've actually got really mature tastes. Right, what does that mean? Also, what's that face? I, I swear I've never seen that embarrassed laugh before. It's actually kind of scary. Okay. Fidget, fidget, fidget. Yep. Keep molesting if you really, really must. Can't really call this child friendly anymore. Is this YouTube video made for kids? Never is. 
I should check up top. T no! Whoa, you're. What are you doing? This wouldn't be acceptable for a man to do. Why should it be acceptable for a woman to do? Ah! 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 Can you stop? Can, do I have to know this molesting thing's happening? Like, it was bad enough when it happened with, like, the Sunahara's football team being assholes. But this is... I'm literally just seeing someone getting molested here. I don't like it. Kyo, turning to woman just because guys won't hit on you. <laughs> Well, it's good to make this light-hearted, Tomia, but bear in mind, Kotomi didn't say yes or no. This could be illegal right now. Hmm, what was that? Nothing, ma'am. I look away. It's just skinship between friends. All friends do it. It's n no, it's not. <laughs> I feel like if it was normal, I'd um, have a, <laughs> well, I don't know, I'd have a much more interesting life. As in, like, my body would not be safe. Uh, normal, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what did you say? Skinship? After that. Friends? Aha! You'll be friends with her? I didn't like how you asked to. You had to ask the other day, so I decided to come on my own today. If she's your friend, then she's my friend too, indirectly. Oh, and we introduced ourselves already. Oh, we introduced, sorry, past tense. Still grabbing onto Katomi, she says that with a smug face. Katomi looks like she wants to tell me something. I don't have a tail. She seems fine for now, so I turn to Kyo. Friends aren't so reserved around each other. I guess so. We need to learn more about each other. For example, your favorite food, your favorite game, your favorite outfit. She's gonna get like overwhelmed and run for her life. I feel that's something the game would do. Clearly, destiny cannot be um, altered in any shape or form. Well, I don't care what they are as long as they're fun. She glances at me suggestively. What are you thinking? What? Are you I don't want to molest my friend. Why do you have to molest her? I don't want to get joined up in this. Don't you think it's time for you to prove your worth? Gash, it's planning on extorting me. If we're going to play together, the more the merrier, right? I'm going to bring Ryo here too, so wait just a sec. <laughs> I would like to run as fast as possible. But apparently I've got to wait for her. Great. Seem yeah, I fear for my life, so I decide to wait obediently. I mean, we asked for this. We wanted friends for Kotomi, and that's what we're going to get. Even if it risks our life doing so. Bye bye. Kira runs off briskly. Without moving an inch, Kotomi and I just look at each other. Um, this is getting out of hand. She's a bully. You, you could ask now at the appropriate. I really don't have a tail. She says that while touching her skirt near her butt. Okay, I get it. The problem is with Kyo. I better think of something before her next attack. Kotomi and I can't take much more. Having the twins build a friendship outside of school might be too tough for Kotomi. Yes, two in one. I mean, normally that's good if you're doing like some kind of Walmart deal two for one, but not in this case. Huh? All right, in that case, what's our plan? What the hell are we getting? Oh, oh, drama club. Wait, are we all assembling in the drama club to kind of join with this? Huh. I mean, I, I would have thought me and Katem would come back here at some point, but Kyo as well, and possibly Ryo? What if we could do something Shakespearean already? And? This is the fun place you were thinking about. It's a nice place. The drama club room has a long history, and now's our chance to use it as we see fit. There are lots of mysterious props of all sizes. That could mean anything. Right, Katomi? Katomi is enthralled by a microphone cable, peeking through the gaps in a box. Mmm? She tries pulling at it cautiously, as if uprooting some potatoes. Because clearly a, a microphone cable and a potato is the same thing. Sure, I believe you. Slither, slither, slither. I don't think you're a snake, but that's okay. She tries wrapping it around her. What the fuck? Okay, I'm pretty sure you're not a caterpillar either. This is no cocoon of evolution. You do not have 2,000 defense. 12, 12, 12. She grabs the ends and ties a butterfly knot. Zip. Okay, what am I looking at right here? I'm stuck and can't move. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, you know what? It's good to see you're a practical girl who knows how to get herself in a situation. Sigh. <laughs> Suddenly, Kyo's thinking maybe this was a bad idea. Kyo lets out a huge sigh as Katomi dangerously plays by herself. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, it was stupid of me to expect anything out of you. What were you hoping for? Karaoke, the arcade, a family restaurant, a movie theater? How about that theme park with a giant mouse? What, Destiny Land? Or, well, Disneyland in the west, but I hear it's Destiny Island in, in the east. You wanted to go all the way to Tokyo. Ha ha! Don't be stupid. I meant California, because clearly that's closer. Yes, okay. I decided to ignore the daydreaming Amazon. Hey, Fujibayashi. I whispered into the younger sister's ear. Yes. This is all happening because of your fortune telling. Huh? Uh, I don't think it's because of the fortune. Your sister's a problem. Doesn't she have a setting to reduce her violent tendencies? Um, I've been living with her for a long time, but I've never seen anything like that. Never mind that. Are you sure it's okay for us to be in here? She timidly asks that as she looks around the room. Yeah, we're well, just waiting for Furl Card to come in. She's going to be happy. She's got like four whole participants. It wasn't locked, so I'm sure it's fine. Um, that doesn't mean it's okay to enter without permission. It's fine. I know the club president. She'll be back soon. I, I checked with Furl Card's bag on the desk while saying that. But, um, I hear a voice at the door. Aside from the preoccupied Kotomi, everyone is focused on the newcomer. <gasps> But I think we're going to save the rest of that for the next episode. Because tell you what, one thing I've been looking forward to in this game is Furukara finally getting a group together for the drama club. If you want to play the game for some season, what's going to happen next? There'll be a link to the game in the description down below. Might be a lot to get through, but maybe you could like skip certain bits and click like your life depends on it. And without further ado, look out for the next channel. It's time. See ya!